Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and today I am going to show you how to create more engagement with your stream using Twitch channel points and Twitch community like channel point goal things. All right, this is gonna blow your mind. Also, make sure you stay till the end of the video where I'm just gonna be firing off tons and tons of channel point ideas and hopefully help you out with, you know, I don't know, figuring out some ideas to put into those channel points. As well as about 97% of people who watch these videos are not subscribed. So, I mean, if you enjoy this video and you like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It'd mean a lot to me. Also, you'll get, you know, notifications when those new videos come out. Make sure you also ring the bell, all that kind of good stuff, okay? Also, I'm live on Twitch Monday through Saturday. You can come ask me any questions about this video there or any of the other videos that I have out. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my intro. Let's get into the actual video okay so first things first you're gonna go up to the top right and click on your little logo then you're gonna go to creator dashboard after that you will go to community then there's gonna be channel points there so click on channel points this is going to be where we kind of like get everything set up okay so at the top you're gonna see enable channel points if you don't have that enabled make sure you enable that and, and what it says is basically viewers can earn channel points based on activity in your channel and redeem them for rewards so uh, based on when how often they watch or if they're sub they get like a bigger multiplier or if they come to multiple streams they get bigger multipliers you can read more about that in the why use channel points thing right here okay so I'm not gonna read this whole thing to you but you guys can look through that and see how that works now when it comes to the customized points display you can give your channel points a name and also put in a picture for those particular channel points and the last thing we're gonna look at is how to manage rewards and challenges so you're gonna go down to the bottom here on manage rewards and challenges and you're gonna see a few different categories here what you're gonna see is community challenges community challenge is basically a big group goal that you set up that people put their channel points into and if you hit it, then you do the goal or, or whatever it is. Uh, a lot of times I'll do this for certain types of streams or maybe a longer stream and all that kind of stuff. Custom rewards is where you make all of your custom rewards. You can also put pictures within these rewards and all that kind of stuff. And if you look into, into one of these, right, you can go like for posture check here. So right here, you have got your reward name. That's what you're gonna see when you first open up this edit a, a custom reward. I would just suggest naming this something that is like very obvious so that people will know what it is or else you'll get a lot of questions about it. I've made that mistake countless times and I probably still am making that mistake with some of my channel points. And you've got a description and you can like just put a little description in there. So hopefully they'll read that, but most likely, most likely they'll ask you instead of reading that. Uh, after that, you do have require viewer to enter text. This is really useful for things that um, you need them to type in. Like maybe it's a song request or maybe it's something like ban an in-game action, drop a particular gun or, or something, whatever it is for you. So that'll be the required viewer to enter text. And after that, you do have cost. Twitch does give you some tips on this in particular and allows you to kind of like see like, oh, what, how, how much channel points do people earn? What are the special bonuses? You know, you can kind of guess what that should cost based off of those types of things. After this, we do have a reward icon. So this is almost like entering a Twitch emote, but for the actual channel point reward. And that kind of customizes this look here. You've also got background color. The next thing you see here is skip reward request queue. And what this is going to do for you is if you have this checked, you will not have to accept it when it comes through. It'll automatically accept it, which is very, very nice. And then after that, we have something newer on the channel point side of things, which is cooldown and limits. This is a redemption cooldown time much like your commands and whatnot and so you can put a cooldown for those this is very useful with some of those spammable ones um, you also have limit redemptions per stream and you have limit redemptions per user per stream basically the amount of times an individual can use it so that's basically like the editing menu it's nothing like too crazy or too complicated now comes the part of the video where I just start spitting off a whole bunch of different ideas for channel points and uh, I'm gonna start off with all of my channel points in particular okay number one we got posture check we got Nick says poop ban an in-game action name my character or house or whatever in the game mod poll where the mods make a poll copyright free dance party a marbles game a wombat roll where I do a somersault to hyped up music behind it 10 push-ups a personal command where they get a personal command for my channel that stays there for the foreseeable future emote only chat play a game with Wombeezy Name my firstborn after you. Get the first number of Nick's phone number. Give away my dog. Some other ideas include VIP for a certain amount of time. Time somebody out, drop a weapon. Instagram follow or TikTok follow or whatever. Maybe it's a react to a certain video. Maybe it's review my Twitch channel. Get my premium Snapchat. Uh, maybe it's ad adding somebody on a game. Maybe it's simply one where they can flex how many points they have. It just says flexing on you. Time somebody out, request an ad, suggest a poll stretch 
Like, the streamer should stretch. Ban somebody for a minute or something. I don't know. <laughs> Give you my address. No, that probably shouldn't be. Don't do that one. That's a bad idea. Guide the raid where they, they tell you who to raid. 1v1 me in whatever game. Spin in your chair. Chair stream. Kiss me. Like, just kiss the camera or something. I don't know. End stream. Run through my house. Turn off face cam. Dab on the hater. Fit my my whole fist in my mouth. You know, I'm just spitballing here at this point. But uh, hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully one of these, hopefully one or two of these ideas that I gave you, uh, maybe either you, you like that idea or it gave you another idea. Okay. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much uh, for watching it. Channel points is a great way to have people watch your stream longer and to, for people to engage within your stream. So look at channel points in that way and honestly bring them up in that way to your viewers. And I think you'll have a lot of success with channel points. Again, my name is Nick, AKA Loaded Wombat. You can find me on Twitch Monday through Saturday. Would love to have you come and hang out with us. And if you have any questions, of course, I would love to answer them on stream. Thank you so much for your time. We'll catch you in the next video. Or you could go and watch another video right now. That's probably a good idea. Go watch another video right now. I have uh, amazing vid videos. Self-proclaimed amazing content. Okay, bye. Love you.